back again with more World Cup guys. We got Reiko versus Crane, aka Ben Gay, <laughs> and yeah. This looks like a potential Mega Tyranita team. Uh, probably choice Garf Greninja because his team seems kind of slow other than that. And I can see uh, Z-Move Landris and... Uh, um, obviously Default Mew, Subtoxic Trend and uh, Solvest Tango. It's like, that's just what I assume, just standard sets, right? But Rayquaza's team is a bit more interesting because it's not that it's not as standard. Here's a Mega Hero Cross, which is really scary. It gets free switches, switch-ins on stuff like Tangros. So there's some turns where like um, he might have to try to double, so that the Hero doesn't get a free switch on this. But if he has like Volt Switch on Mew or like he has Volt Switch on this and U-turn on this, potentially he can get the Hero Cross in anyway with Volt Turn. Yeah. So he might also have U-turn on Gliscor. Not sure about that. I think this score might just be Knock of Utility. Might also be Rock Gliscor. Is this a Rocks Gliska or Rocks Mew? Yeah, that's a really interesting team. Like, no Gen 7 Mon, but like really weird, cool combination of Mons. Uh, switches out turn 1 on the Landris in case he has Supersonic Sky Strike, I assume. Or oh, Continental Crush, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I think Continental Crush was what he was fearing more. Gets into Greninja, I think he's just gonna U turn with the Scarf Gren. And if he reels to not be Scarf Gwen, I don't know what else is his choice Scarf user, so I'm just going off this being Scarf. And uh, he can just click Soft Bolt if it's Scarf U turn, because it's not going to do that much. But if it's Dark Bolt and you stay in, and if it's Specs, it might it kills probably. That's the thing here, but it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. It should not be Specs. Unless he just doesn't have speed control. Or he's Scarf Landers, which I don't think he is. Um, I can see Raikou going into uh, Mantan fearing the. I can see him going into Mantan fearing the. The Dark Pulse. He goes Heracross on the spikes. So it's Ash Greninja with spikes. He did just throw up a spike knowing that the Mew probably won't stay in. But uh, I just don't see what is his choice scarf user then. He doesn't have one or he's Scarf Landorus or Scarf Trend. Scarf Trend is an option, I guess. But. Nah, I guess Mega Tita has a decent check for Volcarona. But if they pair with Dougie, you're gonna get trapped, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, Oblivion's game just started, and he brought a Venomoth in the all deciding game. So it's gonna be the. Um, what's the bug move called? I forgot. So Vyloser brought some. Double U turn action. I mean, this might have Volt Switch, but I assume these two will have U turn to bring the Zard in. Assume Zard Y. Uh, that way with default Mew, pretty standard, uh, pretty annoying to play against actually. It might be Rocks land on Spikes, Feral Thorn, it might also be Double Hazard, Feral Thorn and just Offensive Landers. And I assume Bandit Tyranitar, right? Could also be Z-Move Tyranitar. I like the Z-Move, I think it's on either this or this. But you never know. But what happened in this game? They're saying OMG Raikou. Raikou. Oh, he went hard Herak cross on the spike. That was wild. And what happened then? Rock blasted for some good damage on the Landorus. The Landorus did shoot U turn. Explosion. Whew. Yeah, I was about to say that's probably offensive landers because the rock blast did a good chunk, but I did not see explosion coming. So he weakens this in range from dark pulse. He can just click dark pulse here. Uh, the mantan is pretty obvious though because mantan eats it up. So I can see him double switching to something that pressures the mantan, like Tyranitar maybe, or even though Tyranitar can get scald burned. So I don't know if he's gonna double or if he's just gonna dark pulse. So he goes hard on the Tita turn 1. Ex yeah, I was about to say Toxic probably. Like either Toxic or Stone Edge was coming out there. Stone Edge is not really common. So it's gonna be Scarf Kelly on this team. 
Defensive Landris or Earthblade Landris? Probably Defensive Landris, not sure yet. I just want to see the um, the Savage spin out. I finally remember how the move is called from the Venomous. I just want to see that put in work. But he has a few good checks to that in Zard and Feral Thorn is a bit annoying too. He misses a Stone Edge. I mean, we take those. I'm on Team Germany. They need to win. I'm, I'm not on Team Germany. I meant to say I'm rooting for Team Germany. <laughs> what the fuck? We would have um, found out the set. I assume this is a bulky lefties Landris. Uh, it doesn't have to be lefties because he also has a tango to check Zygarde. But I assume he's gonna get up the rocks and. If he has Toxic on this, it would be really cool to wear down the Mew, but not sure if he has it. Uh, Valusa's on the team, I think Latin, Latin America, if I recall correctly, and I think they're already in the next round. And Germany needs this win really badly. I believe it's 1 1 at the moment. I'm just gonna call him dead. That was in the T-Tap break in the man time, really nice play. I mean, he had to make the man time play kind of right? Gonna Mega Evolve and go for Stone Edge and bop the man time, oh my lord. So he can bring out his Harrow Cross here. Mm -hmm. He went hot when I was on a defog. So is he gonna sack something to sleep or is he gonna go into his Feral Thorn? I think it's a bit too early to go for Curva Dance, we'll see. He goes in the Mew, so I guess he's just gonna will with something. He's gonna roost. Um yeah, most Mega Tyranitar don't carry crunch. Um, my man BTP likes Crunch or Megata for this specific scenario because people like to bring in Mew and Megata, assuming that they don't have Crunch. I mean, you, you gotta free switch into this Greninja anyway. And after you get rid of the Manta, and this is pretty dangerous. So you can either click Double to get some chip damage on the Hydreigon, or you can click, um, or you get click Spikes again. Lovely play. I was about to say, or he can double switch, but he decides to lay up another layer, like another Spike. Um, I think there's a Scarf. Is it Scarf or Specs? I think it's Scarf or Dragon, and then it's either Specs or AV on the Magna Zone. You turn into this to activate the Toxic Orb is always nice, so it can't get knocked off. I mean, it can get knocked off, but it already activated, so it doesn't matter. He goes into Zard. Quiver Dance is up. That's a bit too early, unless he has something to hit it. I mean, this has Tinted Lens, but I still don't think it does enough damage. I mean, he might just go for Sleep Powder here. Oh my god, but Sleep Powder has 75 accuracy. Goes for sleep out and he connects, thankfully, but the Zard might just get a... If he gets a first turn wake, this would be really bad. Uh, he might Quiver Dance again, he might also just go for... I don't think Savage Spin Out would do a lot to this. Like, I know he has Tinted Lens, but like it's 4 times resisted. I'm not 100% sure how Tinted Lens works when the move is 4 times resisted. Data Tinted. In a Mew, he goes on a knockoff, so there's the leftovers. Uh, the leftovers got knocked. And this could be Ice Beam Mew because he brought it in on a Glitz Core. Mm, it doesn't have to be Ice Beam. You can be Volt Switch with Willow Wisp too and just bluff the Ice Beam. If you bluff the Ice Beam, um, I guess Reiko can go for Roost to scout for that because I don't think uh, Ice Beam would Oko if he's Spit Death Glitz Core. It depends on Reiko's set. But if he's Fist Death and he's fearing the Ice Beam, he can switch out into. Maybe into his own Mew to try and defog. As he does just do that, because he wants to get off the defog really badly. He throws up the rocks. So if this is fast taunt Mew, this is ingenious and that's gold, but I think it's not, and he will get off the defog here. So that's really nice for Reiko to get rid of all the three hazards. Wow, why did he not defog? Oh, he's rocks Mew. He's defog Manta, and it's my fault, guys. It's my fault. His only potential rock setter are these two Pokemon. For some reason I thought he had two defoggers, but he only has one defogger. So this is bad for Reiku. So Bangay probably analyzed his team and knew that he wouldn't have defog on this. But what happened in this game? So they're still thinking, okay, we didn't miss any turns tonight. Yeah, with all the hazards up, they wouldn't just a big threat. Um, I can see him laying up the third layer of Spike, or he can just go attack. I think he doesn't have to get the third layer, he can just attack. 
He gets up the third layer, okay. <laughs> so the head dragon is gonna eat down here. Because it's locked into spikes, the grand can't really do anything to you, and if he switches, you get momentum. And like, you don't want to really go for Draco because that would let the heat turn in, and Dark Bolt will let the T turn in. So, U turn is just a fine play overall. He switches out because there's, there's a first turn wake, but he was 100% going for a fire move there, so that's a fine play going heat turn. So, he's either gonna Toxic here or. Alandros was a stealth rocker, right? So I don't think he has rocks on this. Yeah, it's probably sub toxic. Did he just um, double out? Predict scouting? Okay. I thought he might switch out scouting for focus blast. Like into Keldy or something like that. Even though Keldy would have taken a lot from that. I mean, Vylusa did miss a stone edge earlier, so he can't say anything. Moves like stone edge and magma storm just miss that happens. I don't know why people are going wild in the chat. Smoke the shit. <laughs> There's something else. In no tank we go on the U-turn and Mega Heracross says hello. But it has to take... The okay, never mind. He doesn't want to take all the hazards and go on a Heracross. Does he have acrobatics or something? I don't think so. That's not a set. If you run uh, a Toxic Orb. Unless you have Fling, which is like an old set. But he still switches out scouting for Ice Beam, I assume. There's the def- oh, I thought it was defog for some reason, it was raw. Like, there, there's no way you defog the hazards that you set up away, that would not be a- that would not be a good play, and I know Krang, he's really good, so he, why would he make that play? I just was confused for a second. So if he predicts a U-turn, he can go for a roost or softball, however it's called. And I think it, he made that play, that was a wild play. It was risky, but I can understand the play. I think he critted the Landris, right? Yeah, he critted the Landris and he just died. Oh well. So he's gonna go in a Kelio or... Yeah, Kelio. He had some other options, but Kelio's the first Pokemon that came to mind to send out here. Oh boy. If Obliv loses this, I don't know if Germany's out or if they have a chance to be in tiebreaker. Doubling out into Heatran, predicting the Mew slash Ferrothorn is a nice play. Unless the Mew has Earth Power, but I don't think that's the case. I could see the Mew having Volt Switch to get in the, to get in the Tita and uh, the Zard Y. But doesn't have to be. You can also just be Psychic. Yeah, the team looks a bit annoyed by Pax. Like, not super like weak to Pax, but like... Uh, can definitely be a bit annoying to face a packs for this team. So if he's fast trend, he's gonna sub before the Tita can do anything to see what it locks itself into. I think it's Bantar from the damage that it has done. I, mean, I know it was a crit on Landers, but still I think it's Bantar. I know that I yesterday predicted a set wrong. Uh, Blunder had AV Titar. I found out later on when I watched this video and he told me in the comments. Um, he was AV Tita to help versus Volcarona. I did not think about that. <laughs> He has Elf Power, whew, and it kills. I wasn't sure if it kills. Yeah, sub on runs Elf Power. I don't know why I was so surprised. The thing is, the Landros dying is really big because he's never going to get up rocks unless he has double rocks. I don't think he has double rocks because the last move is going to be sub, I assume. Um, the move is going to be a defogger with Willow Wisp and like softball, and then one last slot. It's not going to be rocks either. He goes for SD. So if this is fast Landros. He scouts for Ice Beam, I assume? So that might... Okay, just will wisp Yeah, he was either Wisping or... Um, he was either Wisping or Ice Beam in the Azad was a good play. Maybe his land was adamant that he was not sure if he outspeed the Mew. Outsped the Mew, so that was a fine play switching out. And yeah, this is... If he has Focus Blast, I think he's clicking it here. So I might stay in with the Mew. Yeah, exactly, he's clicking Focus Blast. Nice play by Obliv. Ah, uh, he just clicked Soft Blast. I guess he doesn't have anything to touch the Zard then. Um, I would probably go in a heat trend now. So you turn, I assume, just went for roost. Uh, I can see him going hard in the Greninja, breaking the, um, breaking the SD, but he knocks off in case he wants to make that play. He just roars in case he SDs. Oh, I didn't realize the hero was already that low. Did it come in on the layers before? 
Or did it take a huge hit that I forgot about? So he's gonna softball up here with his Mew or Roost, same thing. And he's gonna start clicking Dark Pulls with his Greninja. Like, even though there's a High Dragon, it's gonna do a good chunk, right? It is 19, okay? So he's gonna U turn on the Tang, on the Mew. I thought the Tang would come out. And uh, back to Gliscor, but I think Krang has this game. Oh, he goes in the Mew. He's gonna roost up. Ice Beam. I mean, if he gets the freeze, both Mews are gonna be frozen. But Record doesn't really have a win condition at this point, so he has to go for like something like the freeze. It just knocks us off predicting the raw, which is understandable. He gets his Mew back in, and the layers are really annoying. They're putting some work here. At least two of the monsters are in the air, so they don't get affected. Like, this has Levitate, this is a flying type. They don't get affected by spikes, but Magnuson doesn't have recovery and gets affected. So he T-Bolt predicting a roar, I assume, yeah. In the Gliscor, he goes. I, I can see him as the up predicting a roost. As he did just do that, and he earthquakes for nice damage as he's gonna roar. Back into Magnazone, and we are live again. Let's see what happened. He focus blasted again, he stayed in again. Wow. Just keeps dodging. Mans just keeps clicking focus blast, breaking the heat run. Wow, okay, I would have gotten the heat run like two turns ago. Now he goes on the top. Go, go. On the turn, he goes Chen. And you have to switch out here. He might be like Z Thunder or something. He just goes for T Bolt. So he's gonna U turn here, I assume. Maybe he scouted for Sky Strike, or why did he go back in the trend? Not sure. Did he go back in the. Oh, he goes Landris. He was either going Landris or Zard, but you don't want to go Zard and rely on a Focus Blast. <laughs> he's sub SD, oh wow. If his last move is not. If his last move is like. Volt switch, Oblivion is in a, such a bad position. I think he loses if it's Volt switch. He's, I hope it's Ice. I hope it's Ice be more psychic. But I think it's not Ice Beam because earlier he clicked Willow Wisp when the Landers was out. Psychic does some chip. Sex of the Mew. And I think Mega Tita can Dragon Dance up or he goes in Greninja. I mean, you can click Hydro Pump, but he doesn't have to because the Dragon is low anyway. So Dark Pulse is a fine play, you don't have to risk missing here. He switches hard out, I don't think he had anything to touch it. Oh man, the Z-move is just gonna kill this, I think this game is over. I mean, it might be off played and Z-move on the Coco, but I think this is the Z-move user. Sub as the Earthquake and then maybe Conan the Crush or Sky Strike. I don't think Sky Strike is a thing on that set. Did any other game start, by the way? Just wondering. Nador versus PTC. I don't know how I could forget about that game. I gotta record that. Um, I will talk about that after, I guess, in a bit. See, so Dark Pulses, as it's Spadef Gliscor, obviously that didn't do anything. That makes it look like it's not even Spec Screen, but it might be Spec Screen. It was just Max Spadef. There's a Z-move that Sengus is getting blown out the window. I don't think there's any chance it's living unless it's Fist Death. Wow, it's Fist Death. That was really nice for Obliv. There was Fist Death. Into Mew it goes, and... I think you can softball here predicting the Zard, but oh my lord, never mind. So I guess he didn't care if his Landers gets burned because he still kills the Mew anyway, so that is understandable. Yeah, I guess he had the Whist there, but what if he went into Zard? He's just gonna click Scald here, I think. And this game... Sex of the Magnus Zone to the Hazard, so he doesn't get the Ash from He was... See? He was Z-move, I was just about to say, like, the damage didn't look like Specs. On the Gliscor. I didn't I did not think it was I thought he was specs and the Gliscor is just bulky as flip. But it was Z move. Ooh, that's a cool set. Does he get five hits? Now he gets four hits. But he's able to live a U-turn. 
So he goes on the Feral Zone, breaking the high water move, and he doesn't even go for Scald. Pump Crit doing some chip damage. I mean, the lefties and stuff are going to heal that up. That's not a big deal. What happened in this game, I just want to see real quick. I completely forgot about this game, and I'm mad. Mijuna on the Toxic turn 1. I assume it's going to be Volt Switch, and he's going to... He might go Landris, so... Okay, it's Calm Mind, so it's Bolt Beam. Maybe Shift Gear Double Dance. So he goes on the Ice... Goes for Ice Beam on the Earth Quirk, and he's going to switch out here, predicting... Um, Ice beam out. Yeah. So this is obviously Z movement Jenna because he didn't have leftovers. Goes for fire punch. Not sure if that's bad damage. He, toxic Keldeo is a really nice set. Wow. Catches the Mantine on the switch. He does not have any way to get rid of that. So they both brought some balanced ish looking teams. I assume it's going to be uh, Z move guard shrimp and scarf killed. Um, you was gonna be able to will with the Tita here. He just plays it safe, Mantan comes out, that's fine. You gotta skip through this a bit faster because we're too behind in the other games otherwise. Toxic's the Tango, so I assume he's just gonna go for a knockoff here. The Majuna comes out, knockoff, yeah, Z move. It's Flashcan, well. Yeah, yeah, obviously it's Flashcan. But it's Flashcan with a Z move, I don't see that often. Is it Corkscrew Crash? So the Mew can go for like, um, okay, I was about to say Volt Switch would be an option, but he doesn't have it. So the Manton just roosts up. He's not going to stay in here. Uh, I assume he's going to go into Tangles or something like that, or Tita. Goes into Tita, switches back out into Landris. As this just sets up the rocks, which makes me think, yeah, that he's SDZ move, exactly. Scarf Kelio. So he scouts, um, wow, he goes for Earthquake there. So I predicted him to, to go in a Majorna on the Z, Devastating Drake, I assume. That's why he Earthquake. And now he goes for the Z move and blows the Manta in the next dimension. Goes in a Tapu Lele, which makes me think that his Choice Scarf goes for Moonblast, which actually twit kills the Magirna. Sacks it off. Moonblast, he's gonna soft bolt up, he's forced out, and he's just gonna go for. A defog, okay. So he can go for a knockoff here as the pincer gets a free switch. Goes into Landers, doesn't get off the intimidate thanks to Hyper Cutter, so this pincer is gonna put in some work. Rocky Helmet and Pivot out in the T tap, predicting another return to come out. Goes for return. Uh, I can see him going back to Landers on the earthquake. Expecting an earthquake. Does just do that, gets the play correct, goes for HP eyes, Mew comes out. Mew goes for Ice Beam or Will Wisp here. Yep. And chat is going wild, so I don't know what happened there. I should have focused on the other game that I was recording. Uh, Pinsir doesn't kill this because of the Intimidate, so we're going to see what happened here. He did switch out into Venomoth on the Stealth Rock. And I assume he's going to go for Quiver Dance here. Oh, uh, did he go for Sleep Out of Heart? He went for Quiver Dance. He does hit the sleep powder. Like something happened there, the chat was going super wild. Quirence again. And the first turn wake is there and the Venomous just gets blown out the window. Oh my god. So he's gonna switch out on a potential stone edge here. Like he can just go in the f um he can just go in the Mew, I think. Doubles out in the heat that covers the Pharaoh Stone and the Mew, nice play. He goes into the Landers instead, predicting a Stone Edge slash Secret Sword. Uh, like even I guess he was willing to sack it because it burned. He didn't necessarily predict anything specific. And what happened in this game? He go, went back in the Glisco to get some uh, damage, and he dodged the pump to get some toxic orb heal. Is what I meant to say. Yeah, the pump probably would have killed. So the Cheetah is gonna pack um, Dragnance and Ice Punch. Sex of Die Dragon. Did he Dragon Dance? This teacher should win. He did not. Okay. So the Mew can Willow Wisp here. Um, I'm wondering if he's gonna go into Trend predicting the Willow Wisp because the Tangles first. He's just gonna roost up. Goes back into Trend scouting for Willow Wisp or Ice Beam. Uh, probably, yeah, probably more so Willow Wisp. So we do see it is. Is it Lefty's Trend? It is. So do we see the substitute come out here? Mew can't touch him if he doesn't freeze. There's the substitute. Yes, looking over this, uh, Bengay wins this. Um, but I don't know. I think Spain still has chances to make playoffs. Uh, wow, a really nice play. I was talking it's over, but like, um, this was 
this Klitschko Waltzki. Jen just roost here, right? And then he has to stall out the Magma Storms. Magma Storm can also miss. This Earth Power, I guess he's just trying to like not waste his Magma Storms to keep the PP for later for the Mew. He was in a Tangos, but he can kind of PP soul this Klitschko. Nah, this Klitschko is a big problem for him. The thing is, oh, he gets a crit with Hidden Power Eyes. I'm not sure if the uh, Mega Tita is faster. If the Mega Tita is faster, he can threaten this out with the Ice Punch. Goes for Giga Drain Break in the Roost. Really nice plays. Giga Drain again. Keep the Glisco somewhat low. HP Ice, Roost, Giga Drain. Uh, what happened here? He sacked off the. Ooh, well, the crit might have mattered. But I think this game was in Valusa's favor anyway. So he picks up the landers with the skull, goes into top of Coco. This might get 2 hit KO'd by T-Bolt into... Um, does he have a Z-move? No, okay, he lives on 3%. He went for Giga Drain and he just clicked Solar Beam there in case he tried to go Caldeo, because that obviously kills the Tangros and... Yeah, had to give... Uh, he didn't have a Wincon at this point, because if he locks into Stone Edge, it gets walled by everything else. And the sun was up, so it didn't even matter what he locked himself into. So I don't know if Germany is out. I think they're 15 and 15. 15 15 can make is what the people are saying. So we will see if there's like a tiebreaker. I really hope Germany can make next round. But yeah, what happened in this game here? He just throws up the rocks and I assume he's gonna go Tangros here. He doubles out into Mew, so he's probably gonna attempt to defog. I can see that Tangros is just going for knockoff, getting rid of the lefties on the Mew, he just goes for defog. Tangos went for knockoff, exactly. He's gonna go for softball or will o wisp here. He goes for softball first. He can will o wisp on the next turn. He's faster than a Tyranitar. And yes, that does a good chunk. And he gets a defense drop, so he might be forced out into the Kaleo here. You can see PDC doubling, predicting the Kaleo. Nice double switch into Chapo Lele. But doesn't Kaleo faster if they're both Scarf? Skull doesn't kill though. Gets a burn. Moonblast picks up the Kelio and mm -hmm. I guess he didn't double into Tangros because Tangros lets the Pinther in. Even though at 53 hidden power, Ice will do a lot to that. Oh my lord, he said Bomber and then the door said Bomber too because the Mew defense fell. Agreed. For sure, for sure. Um, he did just roost up. Like If the Tita comes in, they might just win the game from there. But I'm not sure if the Tita is going to be able to beat the Mew. Because he won't now he won't be able to dragon dance because of all these attack boosts. So he's forced he's forced to um ice punch when he comes in with a Tita if he's even faster. So yeah, this is still not over. I thought Benge had the game a while ago, but this with Death Glisk was a problem. That was just me not giving the optimal analysis because I was I had too many barrels open. <laughs> If you watched my other video with like three or four games in one video, you guys know why I have this. Why all this happened. Like, it's just World Cup Sunday, they're spamming games, what can I do? I'm not gonna explain this, the story with my secondary computer again. It's because my internet is really slow. I can't open them. Um, I can't open and the other games on the other computer and record them there and then just re narrate on the other day. Basically, it's explained longer in my other video. I mean, the Mew can just softball spam, right? Or oh, if the Mew is faster, um, yeah, it's faster, okay. It's just gonna spam it. Eventually, hmm. now he will die to burn soon if he doesn't get a defense drop here. I mean, he dies to burn anyway, but if he gets the, oh, there's a crit. So the Mew dies to sand, now that crit sucks. But yeah, I think this is in, PDC's on East, right? They're already in playoffs, so it doesn't matter. On next round, if it was on Canada. They can't make it anyway, but this is still a cool game. Like in general, like that two both like they're cool. Two cool players, or like they are like known on Smog and somewhat. They are both in SPL stuff like that. So how many roosters does this have left? Five. So he's gonna go on the pincer here. I assume. Um, I think PDC has this game. Scarf Tapu Lily. Um, actually, it does. It's not wrapped up yet because he's burned. The Tangros is poisoned though, so it's not it's not the best check anymore for the Tapu Lele at all. Yeah, Psychic Spam is gonna be deadly with Scarf Lele. 
I like I assume it's Goblet. It just seems banded to me. The Mantan has is a good vocal runner check, so there's no point in running a base. If it's, you don't have to run a scarf that is more than base 100 speed. Just go for Earthquake. Oh my lord, if he HPIs there, would have been over, but he predicted the Giga Rain. Because he kept roosting earlier. Really nice play by Reiku. That's why he said this. Ooh, ABR said this. Let the tie break happen. Oh god, please not today. I want to get the juicy sleep in later. Nah, no, but I think that it won't happen immediately. I think they will have like a one or two day break. But if there's a tiebreaker, we will see. I'll definitely stay around tonight and see what happens here. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> like if you get a tiebreaker for Team Germany or if they're out, that's... Uh Earthquake again and he kicked around again. What a lord he lived. Man, there was another time where he could have HP on his, but he predicted the roost again. Reiku just playing. I mean, he played that pretty well. I can't say anything. I mean, I'm fine with either player winning. Not sure if this matters. I think for, for US West, it might still matter. Like I said, my net is super bad, so I cannot open the spreadsheet. Goes for Giga Drain again. I mean, he still heals more than. The Glasgow still heals more than it takes. And then it also has the like um poison heal ability helping it out. So he did go into Tangros. He just sacks the T to get some chip. Okay, that's it. They didn't make another play yet, so he's gonna I don't know all the sets because I kinda skipped fast through this game. Earthkick picks off. The Tangros, and now he has to go Tita and be fast and click Ice Punch. Hopefully he's first. I mean, I just want to see Mega Tita win. Well, I think we, don't, we are not getting a tiebreaker, apparently. Why is the tiebreaker dead? Explain. S explain. Oh, maybe maybe they're talking about the tiebreaker between. It depends if Reiku or Crane wins. Or I don't. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> and he is faster. Yeah, I think they said that we always thought that Chen was faster than Glisco. This is like super speed death without speed. The crit on the Glisco fucked me. Which turn? Which turn? Yeah, he's still in range from Ice Punch. I don't know if the crit mana. He can still freeze. That's a Dragon Dance. Why did he not Willow Wisp? I guess. F no, the Heatron, the Heatron wins anyway. It doesn't matter if he Willow Wisp this. So Crane clutches out the win. Um, I think Crane went 3 0, if I'm not mistaken, for use West. It mattered a lot. Oh my lord, Raikou's going in. Gotta run more speed on Glasgow next time. Holy shit. I'm no comment about this. I'm not trying to like fight with any of these good players. Sounds like the Magirna. So this pro yeah, it's V-move. And there's the Z-move. Is this Corkscrew Crash? Corkscrew Crash? Yeah. I haven't seen that set in forever. That's so much to guard show. The only thing stopping the Scarf Lele from running through a Nidor's team is the... The Tangros. And the fact that it's burned and only has a few turns. Oh god, Smoke to Shed is going wild. It mattered a lot, you dodged a pump, yes, so what? I was lucky there and you were on the crit. I mean, what's the problem? <laughs> I don't see one. Okay. GG, what do you mean? <laughs> We will come back to that conversation later if they continue. 
Landorus is Rocky Helmet. Garchomp dies to Outrage. Uh, guys to Rocky Helmet. Half that goes for Outrage. And Scarf Tap Lele can click the Moonblast here. At uh, a Psychic, I mean, the Psychic. You have no reason not to click Psychic. It's not like he has a Dark type or anything. I mean, if the Mew was still around, I would understand why you would click Moonblast, but in this scenario, you just click Psychic or Psyshock, okay? They run both, Psyshock and Psychic sometimes, but he didn't reveal it yet, I wasn't sure if he had both. Yeah, he wants to save this for the pincer. I can see the door I can see the door doubling into pincer here. Predicting the Tangros or the Magina to come out. Like, the door has to make some sort of play, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the door is doubling here. Like how much how much do I want to bet? How much do I want to bet is the question. Eh. Oh, P2 versus Ricardo soon. Whew, let's get it. I don't think I don't think the game will matter. Ricardo's team is, I think, already qualified. I'm not sure if P2's team can still make it. I don't think they can. But yeah, we're definitely going to watch that game. Whew, it's going to be litty. Okay, I don't know why I said that word. S Shoutouts to Young Silet who says that word way too much, so I got it. So I don't know why. I remember that they said that word and it came to my mind and I said it. Wait, did Ricardo say challenge? Dude, don't challenge now. I don't want to wait a bit. Like, I want to record these before this, this game has to end so I can start a new recording. Chill. I don't want all my videos to be super long. Yeah, he makes the double into Pinsir. And PDC just clicks side shock. I don't know if he breaks the double. So, GG, I'm sorry for the luck. He did get a crit, so if the Tangro stayed in, might have died. I mean, if he had shift gear on the Magina, I guess it. I guess it didn't matter if the Magina doesn't die to Earthquake from Tang. I'm not sure if he could have lost if the door stayed in there. Um, like if the door stayed in and he didn't get that crit, he would have lost his Tabu Lele. And then it depends if Pinsir can kill the Magina from the range it's at. But yeah, the, like it depends if Magina has shift gear or trick room. If it's trick room, it's definitely gonna be it would be able to live a hit from this and then it can set up a trick room and sweep. I think he would still have enough psychic terrain turns so that the psychic terrain wouldn't go away before the pinsa can come in and quick attack in case he would be in quick attack range after half pick from this, but I'm not hundred percent sure if he's shift gear or um trick room. I could see trick room because the Tita is kinda slow. So like like some of these ones are kind of slow, so the trick room I can see it helping his team. But I'm not sure, man. But the PDC definitely has this. Like his Tangos is way healthier. The opposing was just poison. The was it a toxic from a Mantan or how did he poison this? I don't remember. I think it was toxic from the Mantan or the Lander. Is not sure. It was for HP I assume. I mean Ice of Fire. Ooh, Mob Bali started, Lysergic. Um, I'm gonna just re this, re uh, finish this. That's, we will just see then the doors Tangos go down, and then I will say thank you guys for watching. We will end the video and start a new one for the next game, is what I meant to say. So, peace out, friends. And yeah, PDC, I think he went 3 and 2 and 1, right? Not 100% sure, I think he did. And the door went, I think, 1 and 2. And so, yeah, Hex was unfortunate, but I don't think the game mattered, so peace out. And stay tuned for more content. Ooh.